Hey everyone, Dr. Carlo Aller here. If you're watching this, you're probably concerned about hair loss. Some hair loss naturally occurs with age due to hormonal changes or genetics, but various medications can also cause hair thinning or shedding. In this video, we're going to break down some common medications associated with hair loss and what you can do about it. Now let's jump right in. Let's talk about retinoids. Oral retinoids like isotretinoin can sometimes lead to a type of hair loss called telogen effluvium. Your hair follicles get a bit confused, going into a resting phase prematurely, and then, boom, you see more hair than usual on your brush or in the shower drain. The good news is that this type of hair loss is usually temporary. If you're on retinoids and you're freaking out about hair loss, talk to your dermatologist. They might adjust your dosage or explore other options to minimize this side effect. Now let's address the elephant in the room antidepressants and hair loss. Some antidepressants, including bupropion, welbutrin, and SSRIs like fluvoxamine, Luvox, have been linked to hair loss. The good news is that hair loss associated with antidepressants is often temporary. However, do not stop taking your antidepressants without talking to your doctor. We're moving on to blood thinners, specifically anticoagulants. These medications like heparin and warfarin, Coumadin, are crucial for preventing blood clots but can sometimes cause hair loss. If you notice your hair thinning or shedding more than usual while on blood thinners, don't panic, but don't ignore it either. Have a conversation with your doctor. Next up, we're discussing anticonvulsants. These medications like valproic acid, Depakote, and pregabalin, Lyrica, are primarily used to manage seizures but can also cause hair loss. Some people might experience noticeable hair loss, while others might not see any changes at all. If you're on um, anticonvulsants and you're concerned about hair loss, talk to your doctor. Let's talk about beta blockers. These medications are commonly prescribed for high blood pressure and certain heart conditions, but can occasionally cause hair loss. Some of the common beta blockers linked to hair loss include propranolol, indoral, and metoprolol, lepressa. If you're concerned, discuss it with your healthcare provider. Now let's talk about antithyroid medications. These medications, like methamazole, tapazole, are used to manage hyperthyroidism but can sometimes lead to hair loss. When your thyroid hormone levels are too high, it can throw off your body's natural rhythm, and hair loss can be one of the consequences. If you're on anti-thyroid medications and you're noticing changes in your hair, reach out to your doctor. Now let's address chemotherapy and hair loss. Chemotherapy drugs like cyclophosphamide, cytoxan, target rapidly dividing cells, including hair cells, leading to hair loss. It's important to remember that chemotherapy-induced hair loss is usually temporary. Hair typically starts growing back a few months after treatment ends. Let's talk about tamoxifen, a medication used to treat and prevent breast cancer. While it's highly effective, one of its potential side effects is hair thinning. Tamoxifen disrupts the estrogen balance in your body, leading to hair loss. The good news is that hair loss caused by tamoxifen is usually temporary. Now let's talk about arthritis medications. Certain medications used to treat rheumatoid arthritis like methotrexate and leflunamide, Arava, may also affect hair growth. These medications work by suppressing the immune system, which can sometimes affect hair cells. If you're concerned, discuss it with your healthcare provider. Let's move on to allopurinol, used to treat gout. While effective, it has been linked to hair loss in some cases, although it's relatively rare. If you're taking allopurinol and notice any unusual hair loss, bring it up with your doctor. Now, let's discuss levodopa used to treat Parkinson's disease. Levodopa can sometimes cause side effects, including hair loss. If you're taking levodopa and you're concerned about hair loss, talk to your doctor. They can help you weigh the benefits of the medication against the potential side effects. Finally, let's talk about semaglutide, a medication for weight management. There have been reports of hair loss in some people taking semaglutide, but it's not entirely clear whether this is a direct effect of the medication or related to weight loss. 
Rapid weight loss, regardless of the cause, can sometimes trigger hair loss. Uh, so we've covered a lot of ground today discussing various medications that can potentially cause hair loss. Hair loss caused by medication is often uh, temporary and reversible once the medication is stopped. For those experiencing hair loss due to medication, topical treatments like minoxidil or supplements may help. Always consult your healthcare provider before trying any hair loss treatments. In most cases, hair loss from medication is temporary, but discuss your options with a healthcare provider if you think your medication may be affecting your hair. Stay healthy, stay informed and take care of your hair.